We had a sign, um, I should, I have it. Um, uh, um, I lay me down to bleed a while and I'll rise with you and fight again. And that's the, that's the sign that we touched every day, every time we left the locker room, home or away, you travel with us. It meant exactly that. And it's played out in my life, literally. I mean, I get kind of chills and talking about it when I think about it. I lay me down to bleed around, um, literally and physically, and what it means to overcome, what it means to, to get up and fight again. Greg and I grew a bond together, truthfully, that's over the last 30 years has just been incredible. Greg's uh, injury uh, to an IED in uh, May of 2007, um, that brotherhood was uh, right there. What's amazing about that, though, is another football player, Will Huff, um, escorted Greg from the point of injury in Iraq to Lansdale, escorting Greg make sure he gets to he gets the help he needs. My best friend, uh, my best man in my winning, Chuck Shredsman, was there to meet me at the hospital. Again, I was not aware of these things um, uh, because I was unconscious. And so I collected emails, and one of the things that doctors thought was good to read in ICU, read to Greg. I got to, through about 10 letters, and I got to a letter from Coach Jim Young. And when I said, Co Greg, I have a letter here from Coach Jim Young, his first words were, golden rule. Golden rule, what is he talking about? I repeated to Greg, golden rule. And what he responded with was a low tone of be on time. When I heard those words come out of his mouth, and I knew he was good to go. He was reflecting on Coach Young's rule of the golden rule, be on time. His first words, you talk about something that strikes as like lightning. And uh, to be a part of that, to be at that, his bedside, the impact this football field, Mikey Stadium, had to Greg and myself in that time frame is just amazing.